Once you've downloaded the No Paint Surfaces installer, you'll run through the installation and make sure it's pointing to the correct data directory. Once everything is installed, two different material types will be installed along with a component for No Paint Surfaces. For the first example, I'm going to go ahead and add one of the materials. I'm going to add No Paint Surfaces first. This will act just like rectangular plate. So I will pick my two points and it will create dummy material for me. I'll specify my width of 18 inches. I have my thickness. This is just dummy material, but it will show up in the model. My thickness reference point, near side, far side, or center. My Length will be the two points that I pick, so eight inches. I have the option for add dimension on detail and fill with a pattern. If I have that fill with pattern turned on, I'll just check which hatch pattern I want. And then I can put a note in that will show up on my detail. So I'll put no paint top flange within 18 inches. This will just appear just like material. We'll hit okay. And now you can see my dummy material in there that looks like a rectangular plate. The second option I'm going to do for material is no paint surfaces layout. So maybe on my gusset plate, I don't want this painted since I have field welds. So I just create my points that I want. This will act the exact same. I have my thickness, my reference point, near side, far side, or center. I can add my dimension on detail, fill with pattern, my hatch pattern, then I'll just put no paint area. So I have my two materials in there, my no paint and my no paint layout. I'm going to make sure that I have a top flange on this beam for my detail. So I'll just go ahead and add that in there. And then I'm going to detail this. You will want to make sure that you detail with templates for this to show up. So I automatically have that checked on. And now looking at the top flange, I have my dimensions one foot six. No paint top flange within 18 inches, and you have my hatch pattern. And then I also have for my no paint layout, I have my note up there and my dimensions, along with the hatch pattern. Moving on to the components. So if I select my beam first, then I can just do no paint surfaces. I'll select the member I want to add it to, the material, and the connecting material. So here's a little bit different. I have a tolerance. So the tolerance can be, um, maybe I have a, like a moment plate. And on the bottom, we leave that gap. Maybe I want to put a tolerance in there of like one inch or something like that. We have my thickness, my offset. My offset will be if maybe I want that more than just what the shear tab is creating. And I want that to be like one inch on the sides and the bottom. Um, maybe it won't actually hit one inch on the top, but it will try to get as close as possible. I have my no paint both surfaces. So I can uncheck that and it would just do no paint on my beam. If I check that back on, it will also add it to the far side of my shear tab. And then we have the same options here. I can then turn my beam to stick just to show you that it does add it to the back side of the shear tab. 
and then I can detail my beam. My last option, I'm going to use this in a little bit of a different situation. Um, I'll go ahead and add a component onto my column and I'll select my column, the main material of my column, and then the base plate. And for my thickness here, I'm going to put five foot because I'm going to make this fireproofed because you can really add any notes that you want. I don't want it to also be on my base plate, so I'm going to uncheck no paint both surfaces. And I'm just going to add a note for fireproofed. Now you can see as I rotate around, it does the entire profile of that column up five feet. And then when I detail this column, it will add a note on there. See, it says fireproofed, has my dimension. It won't add a dimension for every single view, but as you can see, I added it to my main view, and then it has the hatch pattern as well. 